But it's Wednesday. Hi up there. I'm a new and I yawn. Because I'm tired and it's the end of my day and I'm making a video for Rita for Wednesday the 16th of April. I had a meeting with my um, supervisor today when I first got to work and he didn't know it uh, but I didn't care. I said hey and he said whatever or maybe it was the other way around and he gave me some monitorings that I didn't care about. I yawn again as I'm so tired. It just kind of cements the idea that uh, they really don't care. They're, I mean, uh, they have this contest going on where if you don't take excessive breaks, you win prizes. Given that they only give a typical eight to ten hour day a uh, two ten minute breaks. When I first started working there it was two fifteen minute breaks. So a total of a half hour, but now it's been whittled down because they're nickel and diamonds now. And uh you know whatever. So they got the brilliant idea that people need to be rewarded for not taking excess break and the rewards are turning your 10 minute breaks into 15 minute breaks which I which is just like okay so you're training us to take only 10 minute breaks and reward us with longer breaks which is only a temporary thing we'll have to use 10 minute breaks again anyway I don't care. I don't smoke. And this contest is causing the people who do smoke, which are all the people that have a problem with excessive break, to instead of going down to the designated smoking area, just stepping right outside the door, right by the gas main, right by the generator, and smoking there. And then stepping back inside so they don't get excessive break, which they're going to anyway. So, I, I just, uh, this is a professional work environment, not a high school. I know there's a lot of high schoolers that work here. Uh, I have to sit by them sometimes, too, and listen to their childish banter. It's like, oh my god. Was I really like this when I was in high school? No, because I wasn't in high school in, in this century. I, you know, at the risk of sounding like an old person and saying kids these days, I'm just going to stop right there. It wasn't a bad day at work. Got everything taken care of. Did a little slip up. On one of my programs. That was funny. I can't really say, but oh, yeah. I got to I got to talk to a Polish guy who needed help today. That was a little frustrating. Normally, thirty second to a minute call took about ten minutes because I had to get everything he said translated from Polish. But we got him help. It was cool. I feel sorry for the translator lady. She, it sounded like she didn't speak English very well herself. She was having trouble. She was having an easier time talking to him than she had talking to me, trying to tell me what he was saying in English. Oh, well. Uh, it, it's... <sighs> I don't know. Listening to different languages is it's something, it's something else. I mean, if you just, if you don't know the language at all, really, and just kind of sit there and listen, I mean, it's, 
you know, no matter what language you're listening to, it's, it's, it's almost like music. You know, be, like, like, like classical music, I guess, I mean, because, you know, music is a language. And, you know, you don't, I mean, it's not like a native language, unless I guess you play the instrument or whatnot, but, but yeah, just listening to a classical song, it's not like it's words that you understand what's going on. It's like listening to another language. It's, if you don't know what they're saying, you kind of still get an idea of the emotion that they're trying to convey. I could tell dude really needed help. He was upset. He was confused. But, you know, that's really all I could tell. I, you know, from what he was saying, I couldn't tell that, you know, he was at mile marker 58 on the 90 tollway. You know, I had to work for a freaking five minutes to get that out of him, even. But it's all right. We got him help. It's cool. I don't know if I could learn a different language. I, I would like to. I, I just, <laughs> I can't really imagine other words in my head in a different language. Talking, I mean, you know, we all talk to ourselves in our heads all the time, and just, you know, I've always wondered. I was like, you know, if you know multiple languages, do you talk to yourself in another language in your head? I don't know. I mean, or is it always your original language? Or, you know, is it almost like multiple personalities in your head when you go to speak Spanish or when you go to speak English, you know, go to speak Portuguese, you know, who knows? I, I don't know because I don't speak multiple languages. Um, if you speak multiple languages, I don't know if you want to, Comment or message me how just just an abstract concept. I don't know, link to a video. I don't know. I'll watch it. But anyway, this is kind of a longer video because I have more time. I'm not such sort of straight on time. Probably gonna sleep in tomorrow because I can. I don't have to work tomorrow. I'm gonna chill out and do stuff. Devin, we're not gonna do stuff. We'll do stuff. So, I will let you go. So you can do stuff. I grabbed some Burger King tonight on the way home. Dev made some crispy crowns. By the way, if you have a cell phone, if you haven't typed it in before, type in crispy crowns on your phone. You might type in creepy clowns on your phone instead, just to autocorrect to watch out there. For have them throw some creepy clowns in the oven. Have that for dinner. Oh. But yeah, it was a good dinner. I have a little bit of a heartburn from it though, but I'll be okay. I'll play some cat bug, watch some Pokemon's video cartoons. Pretty funny. I like the Pokemon's. I did a Pokemon's video a few years ago. You can check that out. I ain't gonna buy the link to it. Find it. 